Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to my studio and YouTube channel where I discuss tips, tricks, and techniques for oil and acrylic painters. In this video, we'll be looking at a few of the yellow paints available to artists. Okay, so let's take a look at the yellow family. Over here, we have Cadmium Yellow Lemon, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Cadmium Yellow Deep, Aerolide Yellow, Hansa Yellow, Windsor Yellow. That's the reason why you definitely want to make sure you look at the uh, pigment number and not what the manufacturer uh, label is. Um, moving on, we have Indian Yellow and Yellow Lake Deep. Let's take a look at the Yellow family. Let's explore our Yellow family. So over here we have our tints. Mix it with just regular titanium white. Um, over here we're going to draw down and get our transparency to see how they look in glazes and whatnot. And uh, these correlate exactly to these paints over here. Over here are transparent. Over here is our opaque. These are all cadmiums of one pigment family. So starting off, we have cadmium lemon. Now, cadmium lemon is uh, already a high value. Um, so when you add titanium white to it, we don't really get a huge um, change with the, with the value structure. Um, but as we start to mix it up, you can see that it's already a very cool yellow. Perfect for mixing with blues to get some nice uh, cool greens. Yeah, so let's let's pull this down a little bit so get my hand out of the way. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, you can really see that it has a really nice cool uh, greenish cast to it as we draw it down. Yeah. All right, so this is cadmium yellow lemon. Now we're gonna move over to cadmium yellow medium. Medium is a little bit of a warmer color than uh, our cadmium lemon. And uh, as, we, as we start to work into it, you can really start to see what I mean by how, how much warmer the color is. It definitely has a leaning more of a red bias. Um, yeah, here, let's pull it down a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, now you can really see the difference there. Um, yeah, this is perfect for a split primary. We have a warm and a cool of each of your primary colors, uh, just like these two right here for our yellows. Um, yeah, so this is a cool and so the warm. And that's our cadmium yellow medium. All right, so let's move on to cadmium yellow deep. Now, deep is an even warmer, uh, it's almost going orange. Uh, moves definitely more to an orange bias Let's as we dig in here. Um, yeah, here we go. Now, you can, if, you, if you feel that your cadmium medium is not nearly um, drastic enough in, in a warm yellow, this then, then cadmium yellow deep is definitely gonna be the is definitely going to be the pigment for you. Uh, you can definitely see it's a slightly just just off a, off a little bit on the chroma compared to the medium. Yeah, as you notice, it's a little bit warmer than this one. Definitely warmer than the uh, medium than the medium and the lemon. Um, has a nice deep color to it, as as you would imagine from a from a cadmium yellow deep. So. Yeah, as we play with it a little bit more, add a little more cadm uh, 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 titanium right in there. There we go. Yeah. So any one of these would be a great uh, split primer with, uh, uh, depending on how drastic you want to go with your, um, the the of your split primary. But yeah. So this is so this is all the cadmiums. Uh, let's move over to our transparents. So over here we have. Uh, Hansa yellow, Aerolite yellow, all bunch of different yellows. Again, make sure you check your pigments, pigment numbers. Um, by comparison, these are definitely gonna be opaque and these will have more transparency to them. So as we get into our yellow here, Windsor yellow, here we go, yeah. You can see it's a little, um, it's a little richer in chroma. It doesn't gray down quite as much as our, as our lemon over here. Yeah, if you notice, it's a little warmer than this over here. Um, there's a, another cadmium in between the lemon and the uh, medium called cadmium yellow light. Uh, I just chose to go with the lemon because it's uh, 
starker difference in the in the in the uh, chroma but um, yeah you can definitely see like this is a really has a little richer than these guys Yeah, so that's our Hansa Yellow, or Windsor Yellow. <laughs> All right, so let's move over to our Indian Yellow. Uh, this is a uh, Derelide Yellow, which is sort of a same, similar family as the Hansas. Um, so let's take a look at this. All right, ooh, wow. Yeah, look at that color. Mm. Just such a difference by comparison to the other colors, even even the Hans over here. Look how rich this color is. Yeah. Let's really mix this tint up. Yeah, so as we really get into it, you can definitely tell we're getting more into the into the the cadmium deep. Yeah, these would be really great if you don't want to necessarily, uh, if you're sensitive to cadmiums over here, you can use these these two colors for your split primary and get some really nice results. Um, you know, very similar, very similar, but, but yeah, you'll notice there's a little more vibrancy in their chroma compared to the cadmiums. Yeah, these are really nice if you're, again, if you're sensitive to your cadmiums, these, these will work really great for a split primary. Yeah, finish this guy up. Yeah, so that's our uh, Indian Yellow. Our last tint that we'll play with is Yellow Lake Deep. Yellow Lake Deep is a nice deep color without starting off so so dark with its, uh, with its value. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit closer to the uh, Hansa. So let's start digging in. There we go. I really like this color. Um, for that I mentioned, uh, it starts off at a higher value than the Indian yellow um, out of the tube. And you can get some really nice, yeah, I really like this color. I use it for my, uh, I use it for starting a canvas. I like to tint my canvases with either um, a wash of Yellow Lake Deep or a wash of a mixture of Yellow Lake Deep with um, transparent red iron oxide or burnt sienna uh, it gives a really nice foundation to work off of when you're uh, starting a canvas um, but anyway so this is cadmium this is your uh, cadmium free pigments these are transparent they work really nice uh, both of these families work really well for your um, split primaries if you desire okay so let's start Let's move this aside and start working with our transparencies. Now we're starting with uh, Chemium Lemon. Uh, these are all, again, these are all opaque. These are all transparent. So we should see a stark difference uh, as we draw these down versus these. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so Chemium Lemon is already a high value. So we're, it's a little hard to see the, the nature of it on white. <laughs> but as we draw it down, you can see it's a little we're not seeing a great deal of, of transparency, which makes sense. These are opaque paints. Um, we still scumble with it a little bit, but um, yeah, this will really bring up your values um, if you were to mix it just because of the nature of the of how bright it is. And as you scumble it up, you could uh, maybe do like a little brightness on the sunshine or something, but let's move on. Cadmium medium right over here. As we draw down our medium, you can see the value is definitely darker and warmer. And then as we scumble it down, you can again see that it doesn't have much uh, transparency to it, but you can scumble with it still. Yeah. Let's see if we can't scumble this down a little bit more for us. Let's see if we can't get a little more. That's our cadmium medium. Let's check out our cadmium yellow deep. So, right, so as we draw down, you see it goes down, drops down a little bit further in value. 
and you can start to see a little bit more. Yeah, just so opaque. <laughs> But you can still scumble with it a little bit. Not substantial. But you can see the value changes as we go deeper into the, the cadmiums. Straight out of the tube. Yeah, so there we go. There's our opaques. Okay, so let's go into our Hansa yellow, Airlight yellow, or whatever we want to call it. Windsor yellow, there we go. Uh, let's start uh, drawing this down. And here we go. You can tell that it's a little oranger than our, somewhere between the cadmium lemon and the cadmium yellow medium. But you can really start to see that, there we go. Let's draw this down a little bit more. And you can see that it has a little bit more a little more transparency to it. And so you can, as you get thinner, it gets, a, yeah, it's pushed up a little bit. A little thinner, you get brighter. It gets a little brighter as you come down here. Yeah, let's pull this out a little bit more. Yeah, you can start to see it brighten up. Definitely a little more apparent in person than it is on the, on the camera. Let's see if I can't clean this up a little bit. It's such a such a high value already so our transparency is doesn't seem does not want to come through quite so much as it but uh, but anyway so over here you can see it's definitely a little uh, definitely nice and and uh, rich and it's just a little bit richer than our cadmiums let's move on to Indian yell Indian yells over here uh, let's draw this down and we should see how transparent this guy, oh boy, Oof. all right, boy, this almost, this is almost starting to go, oh, there we go, now you can really see, <laughs> okay, now it's coming across, okay, here we go, now you can see the, yeah, look how transparent this is, this is the value difference between out of the tube as, uh, versus as you draw down, pull this up a little bit more, and yeah, See if we can't move the pile down a little bit and yeah, see how dark it is by comparison. Yeah. Let's play a little bit more with the transparency down here. Let's really get that. There we go. Yeah, you can just see how transparent it is. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a little better value transition there. There we go. Okay, so that is our Indian yellow. Okay, so let's move on to our uh, Yellow Lake Deep, our last color in our uh, transparencies. Uh, again, one of my favorites because I enjoy using it for my can tinting my canvases with. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's it's a really nice color that as you start to play with it a little bit more and pull it out of its pile, you can see it starts to, yeah. So it seems a little more natural uh, to my eye than the uh, Indian yellow. Um, it's not super, super vibrant. And so, yeah, look how these two colors right here um, they very much glow, whereas this one just feels more in a, in a, again, there's no wrong, there's no wrong yellow here. It's just what works for you and your, and your painting methods. Um, but it, so if you like this color, this color is, uh, it's not as common a color as your cadmiums or your Hansas. Uh, but you can get this in uh, acrylic and Liquitex and oil. It, Michael Harding has this color in oil. Uh, in, uh, oil. I'll have links to all these paints uh, in oil and acrylic down in the description. Okay, so this is Yellow Lake Deep. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.